when I came to Austin, I found that it was not only an engaging environment that chose to support each other, but also there's a sense of accountability here where we truly hold on to the fact that iron sharpens iron. Even if you come in mid-year, like we had a few students this year, like they fit right in. We're a family, we accept everyone, and no matter who you are, where you come from, like you're always welcome here. You get here on the first day, and by the time you leave, you know everyone's name. I met tons of good people, was surrounded by just people that loved me, cared for me, and they still do, even after graduating, so. As a whole, I think that we bring um, a lot of love and a lot of unity. We try to have everyone in the community involved. Um, we do a lot of activities that involves the community and a lot of community service. We work with McRest and we work with uh, collecting school supplies for ch homeless children or people that can't afford it so that they can uh, go to school with uh, the proper utensils. And we also work with Gleaners Food Drive and other community activities such as Samaritan House. Well, our goal is to have every kid ready for the college or university of their choice, um, that they have lots of options when they graduate from here. So it's a college prep curriculum. We individualize because we're small enough, we can make sure that even though our students come from a wide variety of places, that we fill any gaps that they have and we make sure they're ready to move forward and they're really prepared to do the higher level college work. The Augustinians have a really strong history of education um, from the very beginning. St. Augustine was a teacher. He wanted all of his friars to be teachers. And the format of education is more that liberal arts comprehensive. So when we talk about education here, it's comprehensive, meaning it's covering everything from allowing them to go to the Pankow Center to do um, automotive or culinary to the liberal arts, making sure every kid is taking a class in art and music and the sciences to college prep. We want them prepared for college so they may not go right to college right away. Maybe they take a year off or they go to community college, but at least they're prepared to be successful in college. It is a currently a small student body where every child finds a place. Um, no child is left undetected. No child walks the hallway without a teacher or another student saying, high to them. Every student is visible in every single aspect of the building. Sports is a big part of the education uh, process. Even looking at schools down the road, did you do a sports or a club? They, they want to see how you manage your time and the spiritual part with the family involvement we have here. One thing about the Catholic League, they to say the Our Father before games and I think that's great and that keeps the spirit in our hearts so. so. I was already used to like the workload and I looked around me and I saw students they said how are you doing so well and I said I the only reason that I can think of is because um, I went to a good Catholic high school. We start the day with uh, prayer we end the day with prayer and so that we hope that we can instill a Christ filled life to our students who now as we look at unity is that the students that come here are no longer students but we're all part of a family. I would say the most important personal aspect for me is that I can learn about the Augustinian core values of truth, unity, and love and learn how to apply them to everyday life not only now but in the future as I grow. It's helped me to become closer to people and you know share experiences with them. Leadership's essential. It does matter what they know, but it also matters how they can implement what they know, how they can get along with others, how they can take charge of a project and see it to completion. So because right now we're, we're small and we're really focused on individual development, the students have a lot of opportunity to take leadership roles in all the programs that we have. You must remember that we come from a diverse culture. We are not all from the same city. We are not all from the same ethnic background, socioeconomic background. It is with our student leaders here that have, are the common bond that join everybody together. Everybody's had a hand in this new building, whether it's vacuuming, dusting, painting, moving furniture. They take value in it and, and with that leadership. But being so small, they have the opportunities where in a school of two, three thousand kids, they wouldn't have those opportunities. You know, they can be on a volleyball team when they may not have been. They can do student government. They can start a new club if they want to. 
So it's empowering them that they have a voice, that they have something to care for and to take ownership of. And I think that's the best thing in leadership.